y'all. Thanks for chiming back in. Three in a possible podcast. Yeah. You got your boy Stu. You already know U G L Y A K A Blitz. And I am Fredro Silly the Silliest. And we know we see you guys uh, tuning in to our Facebook page. We 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 averaging like almost three hundred. You know, people visiting our page. But you know, we want y'all to chime in, comment, like. Get on YouTube, like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe, man. Hey, basically, we're a podcast. We talk about nothing but the hottest topics from sports, music, and entertainment. You name it, we talk about it. Real you talk. can be that possible. Mm-hmm. Keeping it 100. Just as long as you come on here and keep it 100. Because, sir, that's all we you have. You definitely got to keep it 100 and have thick skin. There are no wrong questions because I see a lot of people that be nervous about asking things. If you don't want to ask it or say it, inbox us. We'll say that shit fuck. We'll say that shit fuck. We'll say that shit fuck. I got you. Real shit. So what we doing today? What we doing today? Platforms, social media, Facebook, Instagram. You can get at me at Fredro Silly underscore. And as always, silliest. Where your mom's at, nigga. Real talk. Like I say, just uh, even with the YouTube. You go on YouTube, watch it. You know, make sure you like. Share, subscribe. You for know real. What I mean? Comment. Definitely subscribe. You know, if you got, like I said, if you got topics you want us to talk about, we definitely will do that. And but, even um, if you disagree, hey, say that shit. We, we want to hear. We take all that because we want all we the don't feedback. To be we grown ass man up right. here yeah, with, the, with thick skin. Yes, sir. Just come correct. We're gonna be respectful. You be respectful. Real talk. Because you definitely better be respectful. No, you well, because we standing on business. <laughs> 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 what we what we all today, though, fellas, man? Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Oh man, for real, for real. But man, I um, I women. see a lot of hashtags and, and videos on Facebook, man, oh, and shit. Instagram. Well, I don't be on Instagram. You know, you see the reels on mm-hmm. Instagram, mm-hmm. Facebook, TikTok. Uh, uh, women talking about wifey material. You know, oh. that's what's trending lately. Like, uh, they need you know they need a real man. They wifey material. You know, and I, that's my question. Like. What what is what meets that criteria? Like what's what's to, wife to be you? honest? It's always I ain't gonna say all of them. It's always the ones that post shit like that and say shit like that. That ain't doing shit, right? That ain't because doing the shit, women right. that's really that really know their wife and material, man, they doing that shit because look, it's it's a difference between being want and need to do it. Mm. A lot of these women, I, I don't mind doing it. Like, just like, you go upstairs, you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You right. go outside, you know, start the car for your old lady in the morning. You don't do it because you go, oh, shit, I got to get up and start a car right. before she go to work. I mean, yeah, that's just what I want to do. Right. and that's It ain't in the big. handbook to say, hey, you need to get up and go home. That's just what I do for right. my lady. Exactly. exactly. Or that's what, I, that's what she do for her guy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, and it's always the women that ain't shit. They got right. some shit to say. And then right. you got to, like, you know what I'm saying, to chime you got to know yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, when women say that, like he said, most of the time when women say, I'm wifey material, right. okay, what is, are you basing it off what somebody else is saying that what a wife is, or you are you evaluating yourself? You know what I mean? Because a lot of people don't, I feel like a lot of women don't do that. You basing yourself off somebody mm-hmm. else. I'm wifey material because I do the things that, my friend does with her husband. They're not dating. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you're not under, in a relationship with her husband. You know, what, you know what I mean? Like, so every household is not the same. Is basically what I'm saying. So if you're looking at somebody else and going, "Well, I'm wifey material because I'm wifey," you know, and that's a lot of women do that. You compare yourself to somebody else. My wife can't be your wife, exactly. and vice versa, because you're catering to the, who's the head of that household, which is the man. He don't run his household like I run my household. Or his characteristics don't match mine. You get what I'm saying? So if you saying I'm wifey material because I'm watching Cardi B, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That bitch said, I don't, what she say? I don't fuck, I don't clean, but look, I got this no, ring. She fuck, she fuck. She don't you know, cook, what she don't say? cook. She don't cook, she don't clean. Right. <laughs> she but now, if you, if you, <laughs> right. So, but that's, and that man, she got a husband. Do. She got a husband. <laughs> My if a motherfucker can't cook and I'm clean, you can't be my wife. I was you know like, I mean? like, but, but you got people <laughs> like that that's, she already got some money. You get what I'm saying? Before him and after him. Okay, but, but so see, is it money? Oh, of course. But see, a lot of people looking for a husband and then there's some helpers looking for some help. Well, that sound like uh, help. Right. If and you and fuck, that's what, if you're basing that shit off your uh, mater- uh, money. But that's what a lot of them do. A lot of them don't want to do the shit they do. They doing now. 
A lot of them don't want to pay no bills. That's why a lot of these, they, they scream about the 50-50 thing. Nah, a lot I of ain't them, going 50-50. I feel like a lot of females like that, though, they just, like, they put it out. They just gold diggers, basically. Yeah. They right. just, they just Shit, want to Hey, we going 50-50 but for the like, first couple of years. I want to see how your ass act. No, just saying, like, wife material, well, I think right. that meets that criteria is somebody that's, that first off, love they self. Yeah. Right. Uh, they, they selfless, you know, uh, they do the little things that count, you know. Uh, of course, like cook, clean. You know, men can do that too, though. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? But right, I totally cook, agree with clean. Because most women nowadays, talk, they don't know how to cook. They eating out from McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody want to work, work 10, 12 hours a day, eight hours a day, and come home to a fucking TV day. <laughs> you know what I mean? Baby, I got your McDouble on the stove, man. <laughs> <laughs> I you even let I mean? you supersize. Real shit, some motherfuckers uh, done and shit. Chicken nuggets and fries and shit, but um, that and you know just the little things that count. Be there for, be there for a man. You know, mentally and emotionally. You know what I'm talking about? Because uh, you know, a man like they ego stroke. You know what I mean? Right. And women nowadays they wanna, they more men. (laughs) I can't even get the shit out. They, (laughs) They act like. They more masculine than you know than us, bro. Like they fuck around. And say, well, baby, how I look in this Drake, you zesty ass, ass nigga? Shit, your zesty you ass. You hate man so much. Why you trying so hard to look like what? Real talk. Your fade is better than mine. <laughs> I know somebody that like it. Right? Shut up, nah, bitch. But... I know somebody. That... <laughs> but no, like real talk, bro. Like just those little qualities, you know. Uh, taking care of the kids if y'all got something. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, making sure they. Wash their face, brush their teeth. You know what I mean. Uh, trying to keep them up on nutritious meals, not just giving them their ass some takis. Uh, oh, yeah, you know what I mean. Chips and shit out. Shit. Right. Now, you know, now, trying now, to keep up. With I got. I got to play devil's advocate just because women. I know the push. I know it. I know what's coming. Right. When you say that, mm-hmm. why can't a man do that shit? How is that? How is that designated just to wifey material? No, nah, not. What I'm saying is. That's the, how can I say it, without offending nobody. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just saying that, like, uh, of course a man can do it too. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But a mother is more caring and in detail like that. You know what I mean? You know, uh, from what I experienced, you know, from. No, I agree with, I totally you know agree I mean? that a woman, I really agree, and I'm and I'm not fellas. I'm not trying to say we can't, because I know it's a lot of single fathers out there that right. get up and do it. I had to do it before. So I, I salute that we can do it. But I will say that a woman is way more nourishing than a man. Right. Way more fucking nourishing. Sure. Like, and that's, you know, and I that's why I say it's, it's hard to describe shit like that, because everybody, everybody gets so offensive. Right, everybody gets offensive. But... That's just natural. That should be a natural woman. Ten. She she's a like the we describe as like even in the Bible, like the protector, and a woman is like the the carer, like the, right, the yeah. keep everything together. You know what I mean? A man is just to get like I can I don't want to label us as a protector because like you say, motherfuckers just they take it to a whole other <laughs> level. But they supposed to be how they say we we the head and the woman is the neck. Facts. You know, we can't, if you the head, you can't move without, can't, neck, without right. the neck. So mm-hmm. your woman should be there to, if you make a decision, it shouldn't be final until you discuss this with your lady. Facts. You know what I mean? Even though it might be the word. You know what I mean? It might be law. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? But you should have that discussion with your woman before you just uh, make a make a decision, especially a big decision that's gonna change your life or change your uh, household. Yeah, and it's like I always say, you know, like I really and I truly believe that, like a man can buy the house, but a woman has to make it a home. Talking, that yeah. don't mean like, and I mean that, ladies, because I, I I get it. A lot of y'all, and I'm talking to, because a lot of women nowadays, to me, I feel like they have that feminist attitude, and I feel like feminists, they, the average feminist, and I'm not gonna say all because I don't want to generalize nobody but the average feminist that i've talked to y'all don't have a value of a man like it's like we don't count we don't matter to y'all we y'all, y'all y'all and y'all you look at us as tools but then when you hear a man say something like just a statement i just made like oh, i buy the house a woman can make it a home oh no no see you ain't gonna put no labels on me so why you putting labels on me 
I literally asked the woman this. I said, okay, if we going to do that, if we going to play that game, and I hate playing that game, by the way. I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm an old school, I'm a caveman, whatever you want to call it. I can be open-minded to those situations, but I get upset when it can't go both ways. So I asked the woman, I said, if you're with a man, right, and you walking down the street, and another man walks past and slaps you on your ass. <laughs> what is that man? What should that man do in that situation? I say, what, what if what if I say, what if he's not a fighter? Because some men are not fighters. Right. I said, what if he's not a fighter? Oh, I didn't, the response I got, and you know who you are, mm. she said, Oh, well, I can't be with him. Why? You would expect me to protect myself? You would expect me? Ain't you labeling me now? What if I can't fight? Right. So I'm supposed to get my ass kicked. And I'm I what if I can't fight? You can't label me. But if I say I feel a woman should be nurturing, a woman should take care of the kid, a woman, now you labeling me. Why are you labeling me that I can fight? What if this nigga just beat the fuck out of me? Like, come on now. But see, that's what I that's what I don't like. Why can a man be still in this day and age stereotyped on what we supposed to be doing? But if a man stereotypes what he thinks a woman is supposed to be, oh, no, you can't put no label because a, a woman can do everything. So why does a man, and I mean that, it's men, it's men that, I'm sorry, it's men out here that just are not fighters. Right. They're not. It's niggas that's just not built for that shit. So you can't sit and have, you don't want to be stereotyped, but every man should know how to fight. Every man should know how to do this. Every man should know how to. Now, granted. Yes, I believe if you with a nigga and he can't protect you, you shouldn't be with that nigga. But that's old, but that goes back to what I'm saying about stereotyping. If I say that about a woman, then I feel like a woman should, a woman should be able to cook. No, see, that don't make sense. Right. You can't stereotype it one way. I feel like that shit. I mean, I feel, I mean like <laughs> whether say, you, you it, really but why would, that's what I'm saying. Why can they stereotype us? Cook, but like, if we say a woman should I be able to cook, you know they're going to get pissed off. you living? Right. Hey, and my <laughs> shoe fits, wear that motherfucker. I'm talking about wear that bitch to the mall. How he is to the soul come off. But what I'm saying, bro, is, is come on now. Like, be for real. Like, motherfuckers that do that, like, get so sensitive about it. Like, it's something you doing wrong. Or it's something in your heart that you know that you're not doing right. Or you, you well, got, of, we got, like, we got, you got to also remember, they're the number one species on the world that would never accept accountability. Mm. So a lot of that shit hit home. It's just like you s stepping on my toe under the table, but I'm too pussy to say, bro, stop, stop. You just sitting there doing this. Like, mm. and I'm just seeing you just, just letting this shit happen. But it's irritating me. Yeah. But I'm never going to, I'm just not going to open up to it. And mm. a lot of them do that shit, bro. A yeah. lot of them know that Okay, I can I can bow down to this shit. He doing everything I can, but it's always something. Yeah, and that's the only it thing. That's the only thing I'm saying, ladies. Yeah, um, funny. I know I know uh, the woman that I just referenced to. You are open minded, but I'm gonna say for the majority, like the majority, and I salute her because we can have these conversations. I've had these conversations with her, and she's open minded. Mm. But I'm saying the majority of women nowadays. Y'all put these standards on us as men, and they we bet not drop none of that. We nigga don't drop the ball, but Red why flag. can't we turn that exactly? <laughs> but flag. when we turn that shit around and go, okay, I expect you to do this. No, no, now you can't put no labels on me. On and now you being like, it, it. That's what I don't understand. That's the frustrating part <laughs> because, like I just said, we had a conversation. Like it was women feeling like. That my nephew, you know, he's that's caveman shit, and that's the way he thinking that a woman should just bow down. And it's like, okay, you you taking that as that, but now if he says, what can he say? Like that wouldn't upset a feminist, right. you know what I mean? And I'm not and I'm they, not labeling all women as feminists, but I'm just saying the, the, a lot of them just want what they can't have. Mm. A lot of people do. A lot of people like man, hell yeah, I want a Ferrari. I know damn well I can't have no Ferrari. For one, I'm going to tear that motherfucker up. For two, I might kill myself. And for three, it's a maybe. Because the main thing I feel like that we got to stop doing, and this goes for man or woman, and I feel like that affects our whole society right now, we're not against each other. Like, real shit, we got to stop that shit. Like, 
fucking cut Like, I'm better than you, and you better than... And that's where that shit fucks up at. Uh, doing, we supposed I'm to be working together. I'm doing this more than you. Right, and exactly. Spill, and then it'll yeah. spill over into how you, you talking to a woman, because a lot of them... A lot of you know, like if your woman came home with and you found out she was making more than you, you know how upset that makes a lot of other men. Oh shit, my old lady making more than me. I got it, man. It is what it is. A lot of people don't know how to accept. But that know. goes back to what we saying, bro. If if you make it more than your woman, we ain't putting her down mm-hmm. or shitting on her. Or you know what I'm saying? So if she if your woman do happen to be make it more than you, that still don't give you the right to treat that man like shit. Right. At all. Like and if you think that if you think that way, and this goes for any woman that thinks that way, then you don't need a man. You need to go find you one of these broke ass niggas that you just because ain't no man gonna tolerate that shit. I don't care how much money you make. Cause I've had women say, Well, ain't no man gonna treat me like that because he make more money. Okay then. So why do you why do women think that they think it's okay? Well, what is it treating though? Like, if it's if is it wrong for you to uh cater cater to your man? Expect I mean vice versa. Of course if he cater to you, he ain't treating you. But if he doing everything he's supposed to do, why is it a problem to submit? To and what I mean by that is to cook. Uh both like I say, cook. Both of y'all can claim, you know, vice versa. You know, uh, like I say, I believe a woman is more nourishing, so n- nourish the kids. Make sure, you know, remind us of more that we shouldn't be reminding you to do. And like I say, it still sounds like, uh, <laughs> like and, I, and I hate that, but at the same time, it's still, it's, it, sh- it, sh- it just should be like that. You know, in my should, head, bro, but- like a woman should take care of the house. But the crazy thing about it is, you know this I mean? is this is what I'm saying, yeah. right? If... We know that the natural order of things, mm. this runs this way, right? Yeah. If you're telling me that no, we can we can reverse this shit and we can we can put it like this, or we can change it up and like if that shit crashes every single time it's tried that way, then don't you think we should stick to the way that that's not being a caveman? Like if 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 I'm being told that hey bro, this plug got to go on this side of the microphone. Otherwise, the mic won't work. And you telling me, no, bro, you could just shit, cut that tip on, but it's not working. It's not working. You might want to try something new, but it's not working. Why is you getting mad if I'm saying, no, bro, I'm just going to keep plugging that motherfucker in the way? And I feel like that's where with motherfuckers in society, no, I don't want it. I ain't got to cook. I ain't got it. And it's like, okay, you want to change the natural order of things only for men. Well... I think a lot of them do it because they've been in so many, women been in so many situations to where the men, they led, they led, they led, they failed. They led, they led, they led, they failed. And a lot of them got to the point where they was in relationships where they couldn't do shit. They dollar didn't mean nothing, no matter what type of money they brought in. If I'm making 100K a year, it'll look 32,000. It'll look 32,000, don't mean that's shit a good, to me. That's a good thing. So a lot of them, so okay. used to, they so tired of like, damn, my money and my what I bring to the table don't mean shit. That's what they're standing on. They, they want to they be able to mean some shit in the house. A woman did say that, that to me, and I ain't going to lie. I, I, I vouched that. She said, F, F. We give them, um, uh, I'm trying to paraphrase. If I fuck it up a little bit, I'm sorry. But she was basically saying, like, if I'm following a man, and every time I'm following a man, this man has literally been, like, crashing. They've mm-hmm. been crashing. And not just her situation, but she was just saying in general, mm-hmm. man been crashing and dropping the fucking ball lately. If we cut him picking the ball up and having to run that motherfucker to the end zone, run that motherfucker to the end zone, how many times you going to take get to the point where it's like, no, nah, nigga, you just stand over there, and I'm going to handle this shit. So now you just wait, let me quarterback this thing. Because you ain't, you fucking up. Now my response to that was, then look at the motherfucking person that you pick it. Because mm-hmm. everybody, everybody <clears throat> ain't like that. Mm-hmm. Everybody ain't a fuck up. And I ain't going to lie, like I told you in the last episode, I feel like us as men, we gave that shit up. We gave it up. And now if you gave it up as a whole, you cannot then be like, hey, you know what? I want my balls back. <laughs> you gave them motherfuckers up. When you start doing what I'm telling you, like like I said, upsetting the natural order of things. 
If I tell a woman, no, oh, you can, you can, she can do this, she can do that, she can do that, and that's not a position she used to be in, mm. then the natural thing is, oh, well, I got the power now, now I ain't, I'm not giving it back to you. I'm not. Mm-hmm. And women think emotionally. We don't, men don't think that way. Like I, you, like I say, you just said, when you got your money, if you, if you the breadwinner, you never thought this bitch better listen to me or better mm-hmm. do what I say. It's us, baby. You know what I'm saying? Like how you just yeah, said, I'm, I'm, I have no problem <laughs> catering to you. Whatever if you, you got like. enough money, it's nothing in you to go by your wife, da 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 da, or your kids. It's just you love doing it. Mm-hmm. You love seeing them shine. Yeah. If a woman do that shit, oh, best believe, nigga, the first time she get mad. So you don't remember when I bought you something, 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 da da da. That shit it shouldn't Nigga, be like that. I'm the one funding your love. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> like, I started this barbecue <laughs> shit. <laughs> Is this the motherfucking thing? <laughs> Pinch you behind right, your motherfucking... Pinch a bitch behind And that's what I mean. It, it, we should not be in competition with each other. I feel right. like if you chose that man, whether he's a bum or not, you chose him, and vice versa. If you chose that woman, whatever flaws come with her or whatever... Just for y'all to work, work and walk through because you chose that shit. Mm-hmm. You chose that. I can't speak up for every man. Like we were saying before, I can't speak up for every man because I'm not every man. What I can say is the majority of shit I see is going in the opposite direction that I feel it should be going. Right. And that's because, like I said, like I said this to a woman too. How y'all feel about this? Um, I think women are emotionally stronger than men. Oh, yeah. That. Right. The man, uh, we gonna uh, fight. We gonna fight that shit to the end. Shit, we gonna sure. even getting shot. We'll sit there. Oh, oh. I feel. I feel. <laughs> but mm, I don't we'll know. Give in I, I versus... say in certain situations, I will say that because uh-huh. I can say I I let shit roll off of me like a duck, and and a woman, uh, <laughs> I know my wife. She for like a fucking pit bull. Like it's just like we go to a restaurant, and. and they fuck my food up. <laughs> bro, I'm finna slam my shit, bro. I'm hungry. I've been waiting on it. Yeah, yeah, no, they no ain't put no motherfucking gravy on your on your mashed yeah, potato. Yeah. Excuse yeah. me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm one of them. He ordered some motherfucking ma- uh, you know what I mean? Quick right. with it, baby. It ain't that serious. <laughs> right. No. <laughs> but that's that ain't what, what you ordered. That's what I'm saying God though. Damn. That's that's to me, that's a man being we're more in control of our emotions. Like that to you is a situation where it's like I'm not going to trip over I, that I shit. I never heard right. no dude be like, oh, fuck no. Nah. They ain't put the pickles <laughs> on your motherfucker. Right, really? Right, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the Nigga fuck? ain't putting no pickles on my motherfucking right. white burger. Right. It's your, but I'm talking about, like, situations of... Talk to the manager, man. Of, like, <laughs> of, of, of being, like, able to... I feel like a woman can work through more, more extenuating circumstances than a man. Like, what I mean, like, far as cheating. I think a woman to get over that shit and take you back way before a man will. Cause the second, think about that. I know for me that when I when I got back with certain motherfuckers that that dad cheated, on, bro, the second a motherfucker get on, some, even though there's some freaky shit she been doing. Oh nah, when you sucking son so son so dick like that, you know what I'm like real shit. I'm not like I can see a woman letting you come back and then they can they can really, you know that shit have. It's of course obvious little shit. But I'm they talking about from back, a man's standpoint, every single time, bro, I look at your ass, I'm not even going to lie. I'm going to be like, man, this bitch. I can't do that. Yeah, I can see that. Look, look, see what I mean, I ain't I, never I been have. the one, like, I mean, anybody that ever cheated on me, once I find out, I, I don't look at you the same. I don't look at you like no hoe, but I just, I'm a Capricorn. I eventually, I hate you already. I'm like, all right. I hate you. So what, bro? I never talk to you. You sucking a dick. On, on to the next. <laughs> you sucking a nigga but, dick. Uh, like back, back it's to back the sex. on. <laughs> right. Oh God, that's what I'm That nigga like, was crying. <laughs> bitch, I ain't sucking nigga dick. <laughs> but now bringing that all like full Suck circle, man. When you when you, when you talk about the and that leads into um, our next segment, mental health. You know what I'm saying? That's right, what, right. And that's what that kind of mm-hmm. triggers into what I was saying about a woman being stronger mentally. You know, we can talk about that. You know, mm-hmm. Fredro, you obviously would know, you know what I'm saying, more about, like, you you enlighten me to mental health. Because oh, yeah. we, we don't get taught that shit in our community. We really don't. We don't get taught that that's a real thing. We yeah. don't. And like I said, bro it's had a, to enlighten a, me to that. It took me, shit, to, like, later on, like, 
think right before I got in like my twenties to realize what the fuck was. Yeah, I thought I just was. I had a problem. I was telling motherfuckers I was off. <laughs> Shit, I got some screws loose. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but come to find out, yeah, man. Once I found that out, like actually, doctor wise, I ain't. Talk to a whole bunch of motherfucking sad people to know that. Oh yeah, you got the same shit I'm going through. No, mm-hmm. you just broke. Right? You know can you? But can you? When you when you say that, I I really want um to extenuate on and going deep into that on bro because like how you said you went and seek actual help. Like how do you identify? Like how did you know? Like no, I really I really need to go talk to somebody. Well, the biggest thing like when I first start noticing um like. I go to zero to 60 real quick. It's just like all my my emotions can be like a a spin. I can spin the bottle, happy. Spin the bottle, sad, spin the... I was like, damn, I'm fucking... You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just... Just cool with this motherfucker. Now I just don't like them. Like, I don't want to be around this nigga. I don't want to be around this lady. I don't want to be around my mom. I don't want to be around dad type shit. Just like the next morning. (sighs) What's for breakfast? I love y'all so much. I got mental. So I, I, it, I, it was I, like one of them things, and I didn't understand it. I was just like, damn, like, why the fuck I be, like, I'll be mad. Bro, I'll be mad. Make a whole scenario. I was making scenarios up in my head about a whole situation and then go about it the whole other way. So it was right. a little shit like that, and it was just, like, really, really the, you know, the, of course, the one to hurt yourself or, you know, everybody got those moments where you fucking driving in the car and your mind say, I dare you jump off this fucking run into the back of this truck. Mm. Uh, fuck I'm thinking shit like that or right. little shit like that or having little, little, you know, you daydreaming. You, it's other shit where you like motherfuckers like y'all sitting here talking to me like now and space out and there's y'all trying to hurt me. Mm. And shit like that. Then I zoom back in now I'm looking at y'all like, fuck y'all mm. off and y'all looking at you know what I'm saying? So it was so much to it. I'm like, bro, I need to figure out what the fuck going on. I read so many books about it. I read 3,000 books. <laughs> <laughs> that Cat Williams shit right there, bro. I read 3,000. <laughs> but now nah, I really. 11. By the time he's 11. But now nah, I read. Uh, I read a full I read up. I read a few books on it, and you know what I'm saying? And I, I did my own research on it because I didn't want to just go around. I didn't want to put a label on something that I'm like, this ain't nothing cool to have no label on I'm like because I'm out here you know at first I was going oh yeah I'm bipolar you know what I mean because you know shit the the crazy females I was fucking with they love that shit so I was Ooh. like okay we should bitch, I'm bipolar not knowing I really am you know what I'm saying I'm like Ooh. uh uh bitch I didn't know that's what that was I was just trying to get some booty right and turn it into a fucking you know something for real so yeah I, it was it was weird, but like I said, man, once I actually got the professional to tell me what I was actually diagnosed with, then it was it was that. Yeah, uh, that's that's crazy. I ain't gonna lie, because it's, it's I feel like, um, like I said, you enlightened me to that. I had no clue that that was real. The first time I ever heard of verbal abuse came from my niece, and oh yeah, I never thought that shit was real. I recently mm-hmm. just had a motherfucker tell me uh, that uh. Uh, just their own observation, you know what I'm saying, with me, like, you been day but you've been traumatized, and you don't even know it. And in that moment, I, bitch, who? Like, <laughs> who was traumatized? Because it makes you feel like, I know how it made me feel. I'm not even going to say it makes you feel, because I don't want to put that on everybody else, in, a, in you know what I'm saying, and I don't really understand mental illness. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it makes me feel, you know what I'm saying, when a motherfucker say, as a black man, we not allowed to feel vulnerable. So when somebody say you've been traumatized, and to me, I'ma instantly get defensive, like, what? Bitch, who? Anybody trying to cause me trauma? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's my, my mindset mm-hmm. automatically go. But later that day, when I really had to sit by myself and think, I can admit I have been traumatized. You know what I'm saying? I, and I didn't know it. Like I didn't understand understand. I know I got I know for a fact I got abandonment issues. Mm-hmm. I know that for a fact. That's mm-hmm. that's not even to be I have real abandonment issues. Nigga, I'm talking about to the point where to this day. If I fall asleep with you, you cannot get up, bro, and just leave, and I'm and I'm in the bed by myself. I'm dead ass. I will cuss you the fuck out. <laughs> you have to wake me up and make me a, like. If you now, I'm not talking about like, I don't, like what, but I'm just being honest. Like, if you finna leave, like you really finna be gone. This ain't no get up. I'm not saying if you get up and go to the bathroom, your ass gotta be like, I ain't finna go piss. 
I'm saying like if you really finna be gone, I have to know you're leaving. I, otherwise, Rum DSC is I'll wake up and see you and, and be pissed. And I know that comes from childhood shit, like mm-hmm. shit that don't seem to happen in my childhood. Like feeling like motherfuckers was never really, I didn't have nothing permanent. It's like we hear it and you hear and you hear and you hear. And, and until a motherfucker said that to me, bro, and this just recently happened, like a week ago, a motherfucker said that to me, like, you really traumatized. The way you view people, the way that you, uh, you keep people at bay, and then when I do let somebody in, I hold your ass to a high expectation. Mm-hmm. And when you don't meet that or fall short of that, I'm on your ass. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel hurt from it. Right. And I never knew that that, yeah, nigga, you're traumatized. That's why you like, yeah, I'm going to get my loyalty and and be there, but at the same time, it's like I expect you to meet the same way. You know what I mean? Like, so uh, it is... Uh, how how does the person say? Like, yeah, that's normal, but at the same time, mine is a little heightened. So I expect you to stand on shit word for word, like you know what I'm saying, like word for word. Like you, you tell me something, that's what I'm I'm on that. I believe you, and I really feel like that's a part of being. I agree with it. After I, at the moment, I didn't. I ain't gonna. I got defensive <laughs> as hell, but at the moment, I agree. Like, yeah, that's that's a trauma. You traumatized, bro. You have problems, and you 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 not. You know, you work through them a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But because I, like I said, I've you're not co- fully over it exactly. like you should be. Exactly, still eating so at you that, in some so way. So is that considered mental health? Yeah, hell yeah, mm-hmm. hell yeah, traumatization. Yeah. Hell yeah, and because then, that's that's what I say. Because like even just speaking on depression, like I, because I Google that type of shit too, and I could just say at a point, I was, I was definitely in a dark depression, bro. Like it, like. Even when I, like, and I could tell, like, the first time I noticed, and that's when I was young, like, my great, my great daddy passed. Mm-hmm. Even when I was, even before that, you know, when I was staying with my mom, just seeing, like, what mama went through and the childhood and everything that was going on, bro, like, I ain't going to get into all that, but I've seen a lot at a young age, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Uh, I just, it's like I hated people, bro, like, real talk. Mm-hmm. It's just, like, your first, your first expression of body language. If I get a bad vibe from you, I I don't like you. Like, and there's nothing that you could do to undo that. You know what I mean? <laughs> bro, like that's real it. talk. And, that, and that's and I carried that, and, and I got a reputation of uh, he hate people. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because I never let first of all, nobody get close to me. If you got close to me, I really had feel. I really cared about you. I really mm-hmm. loved you. And people know that about me, bro. I don't let nobody <laughs> in my circle real that shit. I don't fuck with. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And you know, I, 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 man, it was, it was, it was dark, bro. I, I would analyze people. I would break people down, and I can know what you like, not what you thinking. That sounds like some off the off the wall <laughs> shit, but <laughs> like <laughs> creepy shit. Like, I just, I, bro, but I felt creepy, bro. Like what I was doing, yeah. like analyzing people. Like I would, if I felt threatened by you, I would like watch you. I would trail you and see where you stay at. At type of shit, you know what I mean. So if I anything come hit the fan, I know where you live. <laughs> you know what I mean, and that's creeps. That's creepy shit, bro. Fuck like, you, I know where you sleep. But I was yeah. like, like man, like I, I, man, like looking at it now, I could tell like that was mental health. That was the I was in a deep dark depression, bro. And right. I say I hated people, and I I didn't care what I did to to people that I feel like if you like I say if I didn't if I got a bad vibe from you, then it's up. Like if you if I see you, I'm looking for a reason to get into it with you. You know what I mean? But it's just like if I dislike it, like if you first came around, I get a bad vibe back then. Mm-hmm. I'll be looking at any little thing you do, or or right, to, try to, to, yeah. to try to it provoke like, yeah, like you know like see, just straight. Like this nigga. He always got his shoes tied up. <laughs> Real <time. laughs> Who the fuck tie their shoes like that, bro? Real shit, niggas don't tie yeah. their shoes right. like that. Fuck out here wearing even, orange Nike Dunks, nigga. <laughs> And even, you know, that's, and that was from like, I would say from nine all the way up to I was like maybe 18, 19, until I had a a change of mind. I, uh, and what did that was my, uh, my, my stepson, my son, you know what I mean? Just having somebody, a a child, and I say that, and I mean, I, you, you don't know what love is until you have a child, bro. Cause once you have a child, you know, the true def I feel like that's my opinion. You know the true definition of love because just something that you made. 
and just look at that, watching uh, be, uh, your child grow up, bro. Like real talk. And, and chime in like you said, just to piggyback off that unconditional love, like unconditional love, right? Because love don't come with conditions. And a lot of people think that shit. Right, right. When you I, have that's, a child, that's facts though. Unconditional yeah. love. Oh, yeah, you know definitely. what? True. I feel like true love. Right. True. Yeah. Unconditionally, bro. Mm-hmm. Like real talk. And um, just going up into that that gave me a heartbeat, bro. Like I feel like that's he gave me something to live for. Like mm-hmm. I my had a whole three sixty, bro. I, like bro, I was probably like, bro, we finna go do this. And I'd be like, no, nah, I'm good. You know what I mean? And when I said, I'm like, what the fuck? Like and then I would be looking at him like, man, this, he really loved me. Like he. Like I used to be walking to walking to the store and stuff like that. Like I said, long story short, he, like I said, he just gave me that heart, like showing me how to love again, bro. Cause mm-hmm. like I say, I was just in a deep, a dark state, especially when my granddaddy died. Cause he was he was like my backbone, bro. Like yeah, yeah. You know, my granddaddy, well, he taught me how to be a man. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and uh, like I say, he my son, he taught me that I, how to love again, how to. Mm-hmm. How to, Honestly, how to be open again. Right, you how to break. Like, real shit. I was just bridges, closed. As a man, like, we right. all got them gates up. We got them bridges up. We men. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I said, we, you know, we ain't, the last thing you want you to do is get us emotional about some right. shit. But right. when you got them daughters, and I ain't got no kids, so, you know what I'm saying, my nieces do it for me. Mm-hmm. So, so I'm, I'm telling my, y'all right now with all my daughters, or even even my nieces, B, any of my nieces, be not <laughs> <laughs> Hey, nigga, ever looked at the Real wall? Shit, it's gonna be closed caskets, B. Fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but buddy. no, we we definitely go. You know what I'm saying? Re, uh, revisit that man because mental health is serious. Hey, you can never, um, you can never. Uh, uh, and I want to uh, send me. prayers up to the to, uh, the family of a, a coworker of mine. She just recently uh, took her own life. Sam Hill. Um, sal- uh, salute your uh, your family. You know, I pray my prayers are with y'all. And it, yeah. it goes yeah. back to what we were saying, man. I don't. Um, I've been enlightened through him, through mental health, uh, seeing people that's going through that. You know, you you just don't know, bro. And when you when I feel like I'm guilty of it too. When you don't know something or we don't know why something is right. the way it is, weird, we dude. shun it. Right? It's right. weird all the way. And I hope I said her name right. Um, but my prayers go out to her family, and that's somebody that really, like I said, you know, ended up taking her life because of you know. I don't know how y'all feel, you know, or anybody that deals with that. And I'm honestly can say that I'm a part of that. And I don't, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said, until somebody brought it to my attention, I didn't feel that I was traumatized. I had no, you know, like, it, when you a hear lot, it. A lot of people don't know, bro. A lot of people right. be Because there's so many forms that we, we didn't, like, we wouldn't know until, like I said, it took, we 80 babies. So it took us to, like, learn, like, now of everything because we wasn't, everything, it wasn't taught to us. It wasn't even talked about. I didn't even know what the fuck depression was until I got older. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of things. Oh, you need to. It was always. Oh, you need to go talk to somebody. You need to go talk to them people. You know, spending all that damn money on for somebody to tell you the same shit you already know. Real right. shit. Real so I start smoking weed. Well, man, so prayers good. up to everybody. Uh, if y'all, if y'all join in with me, man, before we take this break, let's just have a moment of silence for mm-hmm. people that have took their lives and people that are still struggling with this. We'll be back. Blow the roof off the motherfucking club. Boom. Holes won't dollars, bad bitches chasing dubs. Get that money. The vibe right, even thugs showing love. <laughs> DJ spinning hits like he working for me. When you look like money, you don't need ID. Yeah, Throw my admission on the hole since we got in Take free. That. Hating ass niggas looking like they want to try. But the onion on shorty make a dog want to cry. Lights out, but you can see a nigga shining. Players club, bitch, and I'm looking for my diamonds. Yin gang from the windows to the wall in our birthday suit. And we back. Y'all know what the fuck it is, man. Yeah, Three and yeah, Impossible yeah, Podcast. Yeah, yeah. And as y'all can see, the reason we got cigars on this episode, because yeah. we're going to start making this a ritual. When we see motherfuckers with these, we want all yeah. the smoke. All the, all the smoke. Ladies. Niggas. Niggas. No, I want the ladies to comment. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth operator. I swear to God. So, as we do Let's around see, this man. time, if y'all seen the last episode, we bringing up our golden cards. You can see them in the front. You can see them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
we gonna pull these to whoever pulls the highest card. They get to bring the next possible. Now I got to bring the possibles last time. Y'all will see that cut up in splits. And so as usual, fellas, we gonna shuffle these motherfuckers. And whoever pulls shuffle the whoever pulls the highest card will bring the next possible. So it could be you. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Drop them bitches. Pull them hoes. Four of heart. Okay, four of heart. Three of diamonds. <laughs> Ten of clubs. You got the bad bitches in the club. Ten of clubs. Now, because I'm going to say this shit on camera. <laughs> I'm gonna say it right now. I'm so that means I'm supposed to pull the possible. Mm -hmm. I gotta bring the possible. Yeah. What you have? The four? You got the four for four with Wendy's, man. I'm gonna pass my possible to Fredro. So you can bring the possible. Fredro gonna bring the possible. Oh, I got a possible for you. Next joint. <laughs> but I, I really want the ladies. Yeah. The ladies. Definitely. Cause y'all got a lot to say. And I, mm -hmm. and I want you. This is a safe. It's a safe. This is a safe, safe space, space, baby. Safe haven. Bring, Fuck. bring it. No, <laughs> bring your thick skin. <laughs> and that's all it gotta be. Like I said, it's three in the possible podcast. But we want y'all to chime in. Y'all definitely, and I salute everybody that's been tuned into the Facebook page. I love y'all for that. But we need y'all to get on the YouTube page. Get on the YouTube channel. And subscribe, like, comment. Do not be scared to comment. And like I said, if you don't want to say it, computer inbox, inbox us. We will say that we shit say for, you. for you. You ain't got to say it. I say it. I say, I don't want no smoke, but we do. <laughs> <laughs> we want all, all the up. smoke. All of it. Definitely. Speaking of all the smoke, mm. Cat Williams. Ooh, he wanted all the he smoke. He wanted all the smoke. Local motor pop, smoke, what he train said. Smoke. <laughs> I would have popped Cedric's stomach. Stomach. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Real yeah, he shit. Was up here looking like a wall. I don't say this if you didn't give them a platform. Well, Come on, man, cat. But I, I feel like he definitely, bro. Ain't nobody. If he was lying, you know, motherfuckers would have been called him out, bro. Everything he was stating, bro, was facts. Right, and Mr. Potato crazy. Head ain't said shit yet. Oh, <laughs> you the best nigga. Like I told. Myself, this shit when it first happened, I said I would love to be the fly on the wall when Steve Harvey called Cedric cell phone. <laughs> no live, all that Sunday's best shit you talking about, Real Steve Harvey. Real shit. All that shit, and he's wearing a man unit. <laughs> <laughs> all that shit went out the door. He probably was that saying, nigga said that Cedric, he that up. said Cedric sitting over there looking like a walrus. You ain't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Hey, real talk though, I never. Now Cedric, he got some, he got some uh, stand up. I'm like, yeah, it was funny. But Steve, bro, I never found him funny, bro. Like, yeah. he that was funny to me. I'm gonna be honest, and I can say this to him, because my nephew, we had this argument off camera, remember weeks ago, and I have to apologize to Cat, because I decided out of mind. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go with what's going on. I forgot. I forgot about Cat Williams and how fucking funny he was until that. That's a special, bro. I ain't even. I'm not. That's not no fucking interview, bro. That's a special. Cause nigga, I, I literally at work, bro, turn that shit off and just listen to the audio. That's a special, bro. From the beginning <laughs> to fucking end, bro. That shit is three hours, and I've never. Bro, I didn't watch that shit like t over twenty times, and I never get tired of it. That shit is hilarious, bro. And like you said. I mean, none of them niggas came out and disputed it. None of them niggas came Real out. Talk. Everybody, now they want to keep the peace. Real talk, because they know he know a lot, bro. He yeah. know a lot. But I just want to tell, bro, and it's, and it's crazy because he, he exposed and shit, you know what I mean, which he bring, I ain't going to say exposed, he bring shit to the light that we, we don't look at, you know what I mean? Like, all of them having to wear a dress to actually reach that plateau. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You have to do something feminine. You know what I mean? And uh, it's crazy because you look it back, like, damn, like, a lot of black men had to 
put that right dress to get on to that next level. To yeah. get to that next whether, level, bro. Whether they was, and I start thinking about so many movies mm-hmm. that whether they had to play Daddy's Little Girl. Right. Or you know what I mean? Or, or well, not daddy's little girl, but they had a little girl in the movie, and they had to do some shit for they for their daughter. Or had to dress up in a tutu. Uh-huh. So I start thinking about all that shit, and it, but it's so many actors that there was nobody's on somebody's now because they wore that motherfucker. <laughs> Real shit. But if you I think about gonna, it, I ain't gonna he, put no names out there. But I shit, know. I am Kevin Hart. Cause I, you hurt me deep. He cut me deep with the Kevin Hart shit. Because remember, I told you, I thought mm-hmm. Kevin Hart was funnier than him. Nah, I felt that way. Bro, I was wrong right. than the motherfucker. Cat, I was wrong, man. bro. I, I apologize, Cat. Alive right now, I would say Dave Chappelle my top at the at the top. Yeah, Dave Chappelle list. definitely top. But Cat second, bro. Like real talk, I would put Cat second. I agree with and that. And that's just put him in the room and like in here with us right now. We'll be this motherfucker cracking up. Like right, top of yeah, With you that, it mean? gotta be. I gotta put my boy Mike Epps up there too, cause Mike Mike can walk in this bitch right now, and, and he gonna he, he gonna let it be known what's going on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but and that's but that's what I mean. It's like when you, and that goes back to what we was talking about with music. What Cat mm-hmm. was saying, just manufactured talent. They, they, like he said, they pick who they want to be in them positions. That's manufactured talent. If I can't make you, like he said, fuck all the specials and all that. Put us face to face, microphone, and say go. He, I feel like he'll fuck Kevin, Kevin Hart up, bro. I'm yeah, just being he, honest. He will fuck shit. all them people he named. About Steve, 90, Cedric, I'll all say, them niggas. Bro. He'll fuck them niggas up. That's why I say he not, he wasn't saying poking shit. He was Real saying talk. facts. And like, and he gave them their props. On paper, yes, they got all the superior. They have all the superior shit. But if we just talking about talent, strip all that shit away, and let's just say, bro, it's a microphone. Go ahead. I I believe him when he say he'll cook every last one of them motherfuckers. I believe that shit. Real shit. No facts though. He definitely he definitely kept it real. <clears throat> and I salute him for that for even being able to be mm-hmm. being able to come out and, and address that, bro, because a lot of people want to do that, but they scared, you know what I mean, right. to get blackballed. And, or, and, and, and saying that, I'm going to say that shit, just, fuck you, Ari Spears, you my nigga, but fuck you, bro. How you going to come out and say, well, what what did he do? Like, what did he, that's, and Ari Spears is the one you showing me, nigga, that's the, that's Ari Spears, the nigga that kissed that man in that video. That's Ari that's Spears. That's crazy. You going to sit and say, what did, what did, what did, what did he do? What the fuck you mean what he did, nigga? He exposed that if you don't do none of that shit that you do, or a lot of motherfuckers like you do, ain't no getting on. Ain't no getting to that next level. You have to really stand on that shit. Otherwise, they going to make you do that shit to get to that next level. Like, you can't be a man and keep that, what do you say, that virgin butthole? (laughs) (laughs) He said, because sometimes... I think Diddy wants the party, and you have in, to say no. That's in a lot of that. That's in a in a lot of these little entertainment. That's that's all throughout. I the think that's entertainment business, like like period. Like, like you I said. said, whether you a comedian, musician, oh, a fucking oh, poet, they act, it's it's a dark side to every side. How <laughs> much are you willing to give up to be successful? We need dirt on you. Uh-huh. Yeah, I ain't yeah, the only one really, out here. They really you know? just want something that <laughs> they say something that, that right that version that version boy butt. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I ain't say all them niggas ain't nothing but some doo doo chasers. Uh, uh. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, try. <laughs> but I think I think though, like when you say that though, I agree with what bro saying. Like, it's not even about them being, you know, uh, doing that for a sexual pleasure. I think yeah, they do power. that just for dirt on you. Yeah, it's power. Yeah, like I can I can expose this shit on you and break you down because. Or, you gotta think about it. They already feel like the money powerful, but to strip you of everything. Right. When niggas say they own you, and after you did some shit like that to a nigga, oh yeah, you own him. Yeah. What you gonna people, say, nigga? Like, fuck you. No, I did to, that already. You like? Oh, I'm going to shit. piss on you. I'm gonna kill you. How, <laughs> nigga? You can't get close to me. You can't get close enough to me to do it. Mm-hmm. They try to. I, I, to me, I feel like they try to. Uh, they, they got an agenda that they want to lead the younger generation to. And that's something deeper. You know what I mean? Just putting... Just just like uh, Suki. I don't know if y'all know who Suki is. 
Su- Suki with Suki, the good coochie. Right, I was about to say Suki with the good coochie. But she had an interview. I don't know her, by the way. She had an interview. <laughs> she, and she, had, she said, I like getting, uh, Diddy can piss on me. I like getting piss on me. Piss on me. Piss in my mouth. Uh, shit on me. Mm. Now, I'm, let me let me stand over you and take a big ass fart in your mouth or some shit. She said, "I'm like, what the fuck, bro? Like, this is what this comes to. Like, I'm a shit on these walls. Like, that's, that, that's some <laughs> sick shit, bro. Like, that's that's sick. And them the type of women that want a husband. You know what I mean? You uh, you got a wife that type of shit, bro. Like, come on now. <laughs> like that that's crazy, bro. And that's the type of." <laughs> A lot of women, and I don't even want to go, that's back to that same subject, you know what I mean, but a lot of women want to be wifed, and that's what we got to deal with. <laughs> that's the, you know what I mean, like, or that's, that's who the you going rate. look up to, uh, Suki, Cardi B, fucking uh, Sexy Red, I, I hate that nigga. I hate, you know what I mean? <laughs> he really do, because every time, that nigga mentions Sexy Red, every time. <laughs> you know what I mean, and, and I don't, and not just say, I, the reason I do is not hating on her, bro, it's just... I have daughters, and I know like that's that's what they this the this the way the generation going now. Yeah, it, it's it's crazy, bro. And it's scary. It it really you know, is. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's what I'm saying. Like when Cat, uh, and that's why I salute that interview so much because he broke out the fucking box, bro. And he wasn't scared to do it. Everybody's scared. I'm just being honest. Everybody's scared. You don't want to say shit. You want to be politically correct. You want to look perfect. And that, to me, that's honestly why I hate people that want, like, bro, I want to appear perfect. You don't want to expose no flaws. You don't want to, like, you don't want to be human. Real shit. You want to be a fucking robot. Everything is, I do everything right and perfect and my life is perfect. Like he said, <laughs> you told us, nigga, that I owe all this to my wife. <laughs> so you said that about the first wife. Then you went and got another woman that think like a man. Real shit. So it's like, because everybody wants to appear perfect. Everything, has, think about it. Even in even in TV, any, everything has to appear perfect. Perfect. We don't want to see no flaws, and that and that leads to uh, women being insecure, men even being insecure. Right. Come on, bro. It's like I feel like the reason Cat Williams shit broke the internet the way it did is because it, it's a lot of fucking people they that feel, feel that way and want to say that shit, but they scared. Or well, they they scared and they, or they don't have fucking <clears throat> platform to say it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Well, a lot, right. of them, a lot of them, well, a lot. that's the crazy thing is. But my thing is, and I disagree too. with you on that part because if you work millions, you work millions, and I'm worth millions, oh, nigga, we know somebody with a platform. Mm-hmm. I can build one. We are a platform already. You get what I'm saying? But it's the network of who platform we gonna use to say this because the first thing I'm looking if I'm the platform you think you gonna say it on first thing I wanna know what you finna talk about mm-hmm. oh no nah, bro we don't want <laughs> we don't want no part because my thing is you shooting it on my network my platform we don't want no part to that because right. just we seen interviews where motherfuckers are calling be like if you release that motherfucking but what's that, name but that goes back to what he you said you'll never work with nobody again exactly so that that's what so, he says like right. if you, know you I mean? they don't, if they you don't are you willing that's to where they come in you know I mean? yeah like they don't got like obviously they can go live on their phone mm-hmm. but they ain't got the platform you know like the well, they can't yeah, reach the million they ain't gonna reach the, the, the people they, they don't miss to the, reach the, 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 the majority you know what that's I mean? why so that's why said, i mean that nigga waited a whole three years a whole two or three years just to get on that show and say that shit that's what he was saying. And but like, that's I my waited point. so long to get on her to prove what well, I think he said something else. But he, he waited that long just to get on her, just to say his piece. But Shannon had to provide him to do that. Yeah. That's like if we get somebody on here and we say, we we saying we keeping it 100. Mm-hmm. And then somebody get on here and they say something that we know like, bro, that shit will get us. Oh, no, hell no. We going to cut that. Then we not keeping it 100. Because we're not willing to sacrifice. He had to sacrifice his platform for that. Do I even think he kept telling him, like, bro, you ain't scared of being blackballed again? Because you, like he said, you naming powerful people. But I love what Kat told him. These people aren't powerful. Satan can't provide his people with, with power. Like they, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit is 100. 
But that took balls to say that. Because it's true. Satan can't provide his people with power. He can't. But the average motherfucker is not going to say, they're not going to say shit about that. Because they're too scared of losing their millions. Right. Well, that people going to think about them. Right. Them. So for him. A certain that's, way. And you like, and that's man. even for uh, regular people, bro. Like, even, not even about that situation, bro. Even in re- everyday life, people scared to stand on stand on business, like as they say. Right. Stand on business because you're scared about what another person going to think mm-hmm. about you. You know what I mean? And it's it's. A lot of people doing that, like, and and a situation like that I see in, in our community is that shit. trying to keep up with, with the Joneses, like, real talk, the Joneses. trying to get the newest Jordans, mm-hmm. trying to get stay fresh, but you know you ain't paid your car note, or you know you stand on somebody's couch, you know what I mean? <laughs> or, you know I mean? You laid on rent, but you got the new Jordans. You borrow money till you get on your feet. <laughs> but you right. But, but you, you on your feet. On your right. feet. You got the new J's on your real feet, shit, but you man. need that twenty dollars. You too, uh, you too good to go to, uh, like I said on the last episode, uh, once upon a child, get your baby a oh, stroller yeah, yeah. or, or a car seat. You already go spend all this money just for it. Gotta to, be, it gotta be name brand. You know, and, then, like, and like you said, it's only for the look. It's, it's for other you people. Can say, it's you not you can say what you want. Because you, I want my baby in the best. No, you trying to impress somebody. Right. Cause period. Because you your baby don't, if you know don't want shit nobody to look that. at it. Right. Because your baby don't know that shit. That, exactly. Like I said, bro, our kids dead ass, and I'm saying this to anybody out there. Ask your seven year old who the fuck Michael Jordan is, and I ain't saying don't school him on who he is. Ask him who is Michael. They don't know Not half the kids is now. That's what they I'm talking about. They don't know who Michael Jordan is. They don't is. know who it's he is. What your mom? What we? What we put our kids in? Thank you. Is what they used to. Years up. I didn't give a fuck about my need. I went to school in some shacks, nigga. I knew who Shaq was. What? Nigga. I'm gonna keep doing I'll the stay, pole, stay. <laughs> Big Real B's. Talk. I you know what I'm saying? Shacks. I went to Shaq, some Grand yeah. Hills. The, uh, Real quick the on the your fat ass. Oh, nigga, don't, don't get me started. K Swiss. Champion, which y'all trying to bring back. That's <laughs> our shit. Looks. That's <laughs> our <laughs> shit. Champion is <laughs> our shit. British Knights. You talking about shit. You talking about shit. The British Knights. The fuckers don't know about the British Knights. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like, I grew up on this, so it's just like. Bugle Boy. So it was no, just man. like like so like now that shit don't excite me when I when I see all oh, the new man they came out with them red and white motherfucking thirteen so many times. Tell you, they remix the got, shit out there, motherfucker. Now the red with the white used to be the white. You no, know, it just oh these three thousand dollars because the shoelaces are gold. Man, get the fuck on somewhere. <laughs> They retro. He never wore these motherfuckers. He ain't wearing no motherfuckers. Yeah. Gold shoestrings. Why are they a thousand dollars? Oh man. man people actually, it's sad because people actually right. pay for it and don't even know Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan don't give a fuck. He don't even bro. A rat's I ass you, about I, any I nigga. I guarantee room. if you go to his house in his shoe room, he probably owned probably about one or two pair of them motherfuckers. And guess what? He don't wear them because. Them was the ones that got him on. Mm-hmm. He even said in the goddamn movie and the thing, he didn't even like them. Yeah, because he definitely said he that. He didn't even like them. Oh, my life. His first joint, he did not like them. He didn't like them because like they had no white in them. I swear to God. He you know what I'm saying? And the ones that we love the most, the red and black ones, the blue and blue, the blue and black ones, and fucking green and black. You know what I'm saying? He didn't like them. So I want to, I, I, I think we definitely, man, salute. We going to have to cheers to that. Yeah. Cheers to Cat. Because he brought he brought that shit back, bro, and he said a lot of shit that top two great, greatest comedian alive that right we're now. trying to say, you know, and we just don't have the platform till now. Y'all now can't be behind listening. you one hundred percent talking people, that shit. When people tell you what's done in the dark, come to light. All that dark shit, motherfuckers getting yeah, touched bro. on and doing all that shit. Take that, take that, touch, <laughs> right? Mm. Getting swallowed up. <laughs> Have you ever been swallowed up? <laughs> Real shit. <laughs> Diddy and T.D. Jakes be on I'm your ass, nigga. Oh, wait, Don't say that. Yeah, subject. You heard what I said, goddamn oh, T.D. Oh, shit. Well, I'm definitely he, standing with... Uh, he was a uh, power bottom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's crazy, bro. Oh, shit. Real talk. I'm pretty sure he got swallowed oh, up. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Hey, you supposed to hit it with the towel. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh man. I ain't even got the words now, but y'all hear me. Y'all don't hear me now. Y'all don't hear me. So I <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh man, man. man. Hey, crazy. y'all already know this has been another episode yeah, yeah. of Three and Impossible Podcast, man. We're gonna continue to bring that shit in. Happy 2024. Fredro, we glad, you know what I'm saying? Fredro's back, man, because yeah. my, my man was under some ailment. Under. But I really want to say this, man. We gotta shout out two people. When y'all see, and that's that's something else we're gonna start doing. Uh you can sell the merchandise, having, you know what I'm saying, contests for merchandise, cause y'all see the three hundred possible shirts that we fresh with every week. Every week we got new shirts. So I wanna shout out Emily Webster, that's my wife. She yeah, makes yeah, these. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sure, the man behind the camera, man, he keeps us, you know, doing our motherfucking thing, looking keeps you know as good as we wanna look, you know what I'm saying? Real so pretty. we definitely gotta shout them two people out, man. And you can be a possible. You can right, always right. be a possible. Definitely be that and if possible. it's some you, like I say, every, the camera ain't for everybody, so we get it. You know, anybody with the razzle dazzle. But if you got questions, don't just get on the page, man. We need you to get on the YouTube channel, like, subscribe, definitely comment. We mm-hmm. appreciate all feedback. Like I say, even if it's negative. Right, real talk. Even if shit. it's negative, because I'm ready for all that. You real know shit. Because yeah. some, la- you know some ladies don't, they don't know how to cook. You know what I mean? <laughs> they don't know how to cook. They don't clean. They don't suck on a motherfucking thing. You know what I mean? Shake it, baby. <laughs> shake it, baby. Shake it, baby. You will shake that ass for drink, but you won't shake that ass for me. Ooh. You know what I mean? hey, so we signing out, man. Until next time. Three in the Possible Podcast. Your boy, Blizz, a.k.a. U-G-L-Y. And hey, you already know your boy, Stu. And Big I Stu. am Fred Joe Silly, the silliest. Let's fucking get it. Who you want? All the smoke? All the smoke, baby.